Hello there, my name is Eric Horton, and today we're going to talk about TAVR, which stands for Transcatheter Aortic Valve Replacement. Um, I currently work in the cardiac cath lab, and um, we're going to be seeing these patients real soon. Alright, so a brief discussion of cardiac physiology. So, here you have your femoral artery and you have catheters that they take up to the heart. Well, that's similar to what TAVR is. Uh, looking over here, uh, you have uh, your anatomy of your heart. And moving on, you have, this is kind of what TAVR technology is. It's a stent or a big aortic valve on a big balloon, as you see here. And it's deployed. Um, you also have another picture right here that shows you the steps of it being deployed. So the final step, you can see how all of the, the metal, the aortic valve, um, it's in place and it's, it's functioning. All right, so here's another picture of what this um, aortic valve would, would look like. So you have the metal cage, you have the, the leaflets that's functioning, um, pushing blood out, uh, really, really doing a great job. And um, so a normal aortic valve looks as such, and it opens, all that blood is flowing through. A stenotic one is that it has tons of calcium and it's not gonna open properly which creates a backup of blood and pressures in your left ventricle. So here you have an angiogram. This individual would not be good for TAVR. You have the giant aneurysm, you have all these problems in, in the vessels. So bad calcium, as you can see up through here, bad calcium. So that would be very hard for the cardiologist to manipulate a catheter in order to even get to their heart. So this individual may receive an axillary cut down, which I'll, I'll talk a little further in detail. All right, so pressure gradients. So pressure gradients, this top portion up here, this top portion up here shows your LV pressures as well as your aortic pressures there is a significant difference. So, and this is what, this is what causes patients, you know, to be in pain and not feel so well. So the law of a place, um, your, your body naturally compensates for this pressure gradient. And this tells us that over time, it increases the wall thickness of your heart in order to compensate for that pressure. And this right here is a ginormous LV because of the pressures that it's been exerted and under. So it's created muscle. But you've also decreased your blood volume. So that blood volume is not, you know, you're not getting the, the right amount of oxygen through your body. And, and these are the patients that, you know, that we're going to see. We're going to see th this guy who probably loves to go fishing and you know this this lady right here you know she she could be our our relative you know our our, our grandma so uh, 30 to 40 percent of the patients that have aortic stenosis are unable to undergo surgery because of their multiple comorbidities so and and this is what's sweeping across the nation. You know they're able to reach out and to be able to help these patients with this type of technology. So comorbidities, for example, is age. You know their kidneys, their kidney function. They've got lung disease. They've got pulmonary hypertension. They've got emphysema. They've had prior heart surgery. They've got pacemakers, multiple stents, possibly. Um, just all, all sorts of things. Um, what else is, is that there's a, there's a team of doctors who get together. There's interventional cardiologists, heart surgeons, 
uh, echocardiologist and they do what's called the eyeball test. You know, is this individual, you know, would they be able to withstand this type of procedure? So um, the the common the common access points is transapical. Uh, it can also be the femoral approach or the axillary approach. So transapical means that they'll they'll put the valve a sheath delivered into the heart itself. Um, so the challenges of TAVR is uh, the contrast induced nephropathy, uh, crossing of the aortic valve, catheter manipulation to get to the heart, and you know patients that have peripheral vascular disease. You know this can be a giant challenge for cardiologists. Uh, patient selection is another challenge. You know the patients have to go through a a rigmarole of testing in order to be eligible to see if they would qualify for a TAVR. Um, and uh, possibly patients that have strokes. Uh, that's another big challenge because of the calcium that can come off of the uh, aortic valve. So also, in conclusion, uh, look at how coronary stenting has improved patients' lives. And, and, and now we have this newer technology that can also help people. So thank you very much for attending my lecture and take care.